Widespread deaths of bees may be due to weed killer. NPR reports Monsanto is being accused of killing bees around the world. According to a new study published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, bees are being exposed to glyphosate, an ingredient in weed killer. Scientists painted the bees' backs with colored dots to track them and found that glyphosate significantly decreased the amount of healthy gut bacteria in honeybees. This could increase the chance of bees receiving infections or even dying because of harmful bacteria. They believe glyphosate may be contributing to colony collapse disorder, a phenomenon when bee colonies are wiped out. Scientists encourage the public to avoid using weed killers that contain glyphosate when they're spraying their flowers. The researchers involved say better guidelines are needed to regulate the use of glyphosate in order to protect bees. In a statement, Monsanto denied the accusations and claims no large-scale study has ever found a link between glyphosate and honeybee health issues. Don't we love them? King Cobras found in chip cans smuggled from Hong Kong. You've heard of a can of worms. How about a can of snakes? A man in Los Angeles is facing charges of illegally importing merchandise, the merchandise being a package full of live reptiles. In March of 2017, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers intercepted a parcel that raised some red flags. Shipped from Hong Kong, inside the package were a few cans of potato chips, or so it appeared. When the lids were popped, the snakes sprang out. Three venomous king cobras, each roughly two feet in length, needed to be contained. Three albino Chinese softshell turtles were also found. The shipment was addressed to 34-year-old Rodrigo Franco, who consequently had his home searched by federal agents this week. In a child's bedroom, they found tanks with alligator snapping turtles, a common snapping turtle, five diamondback terrapins, and a baby Morelet's crocodile. According to CBS News, all the animals recovered are protected species under U.S. law. This incident could land Franco a prison term of up to 20 years. Find a new hobby, bro! Delta cracks down on fake emotional service pets. Delta is tightening regulations for passengers who travel with emotional service pets. If an airline as crappy as Delta is doing something, it must be a problem. Delta says it's seen a big uptick in incidents involving poorly trained animals since 2016. More and more, the airline is getting complaints of animals taking a leak, dropping deuces, and even biting other passengers. Starting on March 1st, passengers traveling with service pets need to show Delta proof of health or vaccinations for the animal 48 hours before flying. People traveling with emotional or psychological support animals will need a signed note from a doctor confirming that the animal won't go berserk. In the past, Delta said passengers have tried to use turkeys, possums, snakes, and even spiders as support pets. From now on, if you're looking to bring hedgehogs, ferrets, insects, rodents, snakes, spiders, possums, amphibians, non-household fowl, or animals with horns, tusks, or who's on a flight, you're gonna have to find someone other than Delta. Well, maybe it's not that bad of news. That's scary. CBS News reports a jaguar from the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans escaped and ended up killing six animals. Zoo officials said the three-year-old male jaguar escaped its habitat because its roof may have been compromised and opened up an escape route. The incident took place at around 7.20 a.m. before the zoo was open. After escaping, the jaguar, named Valerio, reportedly attacked four alpacas, a fox and an emu. Unfortunately, they didn't survive. Valerio also attacked two foxes and an alpaca, but they are expected to recover. Fox News reports team members from the zoo sedated the jaguar within a few minutes with tranquilizers. According to a press release from the Audubon Zoo, they plan to conduct a thorough investigation of how this happened. Teacher charged for feeding sick puppy to snapping turtle. An Idaho teacher is in hot water after allegedly serving up a sick puppy as a meal to a snapping turtle in front of several students. According to parents who found out, science teacher Robert Crossland from Preston Junior High School served the puppy up to the turtle on March 7th. The turtle was then seized a few weeks later by state officials who euthanized it because it was an invasive species. Crossland was charged last Friday with misdemeanor animal cruelty. He's now facing up to six months behind bars and a 5,000 U.S. dollar fine if convicted. Petitions have been started on both sides of the argument, those calling for Crossland's dismissal and others supporting the teacher. PETA even came out to blast Crossland. 
point, but doesn't PETA euthanize thousands of cats and dogs every year? Where were we? Uh, oh yeah, Crossland is a bad man and deserves to be punished. Or does he? Researchers in Norway teach horses to communicate with people. Researchers in Norway have made a breakthrough in the study of animal cognition, using symbols to help horses communicate their level of comfort to humans. In the study, 23 horses were exposed to a range of hot, cold, and warm temperatures and given three symbol boards to select from based on what they experienced. If a horse nudged the board with the horizontal line, it communicated to the researchers the horse felt cold and was asking for its blanket. If a horse nudged the board with a vertical line, it communicated that it felt hot and wanted the blanket removed. If a horse nudged a board with no symbol on it, it was communicating it felt comfortable. Horses were given a carrot for making the correct choices. It was clear whether the horses were choosing the symbols that corresponded with their comfort as they were either covered in thick blankets designed to make them uncomfortably hot or taken outside in freezing cold temperatures which would call for them to demand a blanket. The horses learned to provide their preferences after only 14 days of 10 to 15 minutes of training each day. This new research groups horses in with apes, dolphins, and pigeons as animals proven to be able to communicate with humans through symbols.